Robin here from leadgenius.biz and today we're looking at how to connect Thrive Leads, one of the amazing tools from within the Thrive Suite set of plugins with Mordic, my favorite marketing automation platform and I'm guessing if you're watching this video it's probably because you're already fluent with Mordic so you're going to recognize Mordic. Now, I came across Thrive Themes by being associated with Mordic, where I got involved with Mordic right in the beginning, and I was looking for a set of WordPress tools that had native integration, and uh, Thrive Themes said they did, and uh, I went and got hold of Thrive Themes. I've never looked back. It's the most incredible set of tools. If you're interested in WordPress and working with WordPress, Thrive Themes is what you need to do. Uh, if you're interested, there's a link below for Thrive Themes. Go check them out. But really what's uh, fascinating within the Thrive Suite uh, set of tools is Thrive Leads. It's a form builder, a pop-up builder, where you can collect leads and um, pass those leads onto a third-party tool, in this case, Mordic, and just do amazing things with them. And back in the day, that was a native integration, but I think with Mordic going through its evolution, um, those that API connection just fell by the wayside. It's still there, but it doesn't work. Nothing happens anymore. So it's been a real struggle for me um, because I love Thrive Themes and I love Mordic, and now my two favorite things didn't talk to each other. So I've been struggling ever since to try and make that work until now I finally got it figured out, and today I wanna share that with you. But you're probably saying, hang on, I can do this already. And absolutely, you can. In fact, just the other day, I think it was mentioned in the, in the Morty cast. That's a podcast about, uh, about Mordic. Definitely go check that out if you don't know about it. Um, but Ecker and his team on the Mordic cast actually mentioned a blog post. And uh, Joey Keller, one of the big uh, contributors to the Mordic project, uh, kind of walked us through uh, the process that you can right now connect quite a few uh, uh, WordPress forms with Mordic. Works, works well. But the uh, issue with this is you would have someone browsing your website. Here's someone on my website now from uh, Ireland. And uh, if I click into them, uh, they've got a browsing history. They've, you know, went on this blog post and they've been doing bits and pieces. Now, what was happening is if this person happened to fill out a form on my page and uh, we used a webhook or some other integration to get them into Mordic, it wouldn't fire the Mordic cookie, so Mordic wouldn't know that this person is associated with this IP address and therefore this browsing history belongs to them. And even worse is if this person from Ireland came back onto my website and browsed further, the browsing history would be associated with this anonymous IP and it wouldn't be associated with this record, the, the contact that now identified. So essentially I've got an anonymous record that's collecting live data and then I've got a known record that unless this person fills out a form, I don't know what's going on with them. And that kind of removes a lot of the power of Mordic. So that was what I wanted to solve. How can I inject a new lead from a third-party plugin into Mordic and associate all their browsing history there, you know, fire the cookie so all that, that uh, browsing history comes together. So that's what we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in this tutorial online on this video right now. Before we get building, let's look at an overview of what we're trying to achieve here so you can kind of follow along and see where everything fits in. So in this diagram here, it's kind of representing the three big chunks that we need to work through in order to make this happen. So first of all, we need a landing page with a form on it. And this is not gonna be a Mordic form. The whole idea behind this is to use a third-party form. In this case, we're gonna be using a Thrive Leads form. So that's on the website. And we're gonna pass the information that's entered into that form via URL to a landing page. And uh, this landing page is gonna have a hidden Mordic form on it. That Mordic form is gonna capture the information that's been passed via the URL and then auto-submit itself. And it's gonna be hidden, so the user will have no idea to go what's going on there. And then that, because it's now a Mordic form, is just going to insert it into Mortic and because it's a native Mortic form going into Mortic we can have all the good stuff that Mortic gives us with triggers and tags and automations and so forth. So that's really what it is. So let's break down the build into four major steps. So the first thing is we need to create a form and a landing page. Once we've done that, we're going to go into Mordic and we're going to create the receiver form to receive that information that's coming from the Thrive Leads form. Then we're going to go create the thank you page and we're going to stick that Mordic form onto that thank you page and ultimately hide the Mordic form. Initially, we won't hide it 
because we want to check that it's working so we're going to want to watch it and finally we're going to test it and once it's working we'll go back and hide the form and uh, turn on the auto submit so that we have a production ready version of this integration so let's start by creating the form and the landing page now before i go any further i just want to note this is not a tutorial on how to use mordic or how to use uh, thrive leads so i'm assuming a little bit of knowledge there and i've kind of pre-built what we need i'm just going to show you the forms and the settings you need to have turned on to make this work so i dived into my website i have built a a, a thrive a lead form already and uh, we're going to use this uh, short code to insert it into the thrive landing page more on that in a moment um, but let's dive into the mordic form so this is the form i've built uh, if you're very new to mordic you'll know straight away sorry this is the thrive leads form that i've built not mordic this is thrive leads as you can see we've got a host of pre-built uh, templates which is why I love them because I'm no designer but I've taken one of those I've just mixed and matched it a bit stuck a Mordic logo on it and it's actually a real life form I am considering building a Mordic mastery course taking you from kind of introductory how to stall a Mordic and what it is about right through to being a master user if it's something you might be interested in just fill out the form let me know the more enthusiasm I get the more uh, hungry people I know are out there and it's motivation to build out that course um, but here it is built and now we want to do some configuration. So what do we do? Well, I'm just going to select the um, lead generation element, which I've done. And then over here on the configuration platform, the first thing you want to do is add a connection. I've connected to the Mordic API. It's defunct. It does nothing. Uh, you can also connect it to any other API you've got. Um, and it's the, the native WordPress um, account is straightforward use that one it's just going to put a new subscriber to your account even though we're not actually using this information thrive does need you to connect the form to something in order to enable the redirect to a thank you page to work so if your form is not redirecting it's probably because you haven't connected anything so i'm going to leave it to mordek even though it's doing absolutely nothing and uh, you can create your fields name and email and uh, we have a couple of options here. We're going to redirect to custom URL. And in here, you put in that redirect URL. Now, if you haven't built it yet, you'll need to go and build your thank you page first. I've built mine, and so that's its URL. I've popped it in there. Very, very important here. You want to turn this on. Send form values to thank you page. That's absolutely critical. It's the foundation on which this is built. Turn that on. And then we want to view variable details. So we can see here the first name is TV underscore name and the email is email. Those are the labels for the variables that have been passed in the URL. You want to take a note of that because we're going to need to build those into our Mordic receiver form, which is step two. Before we get there, we need to take this Thrive Leads form we've just created and we need to uh, pop it onto a landing page. So I've done that, but let me just show you very quickly. I've built a landing page using Thrive Architect, super simple. And I've just used the short code that represents that form we've just built and I popped it in here. And uh, we go ahead and save work. And we'll be able to see what this form looks like, what this landing page looks like with its form. So I've actually uh, got it loaded up already. And here it is. And you can see there's our Thrive Leads form. Fantastic. So that's our landing page built. And that is step one taken care of. Let's dive over into Mordek now and create the receiver form. So we're going to do exactly that. So I've actually navigated to forms already and I've pre-built this Thrive Leads receiver form. So let me take you through it. All right, so first of all, on submit action, this remain at form. Remember, this form is going to be hidden, so I already don't need it to go anywhere. It actually just complicate things if you do. Under fields, this is where you need to be careful. So we've got first name and email because over here we've got name and email. So we want to match those correctly. So I'm going to go into this and first name, map it normally, but in attributes, I'm going to type in TV underscore name. That's exactly what I got from here, TV underscore name. So that's important that those two are the same. Make Watch the case sensitivity. It is case sensitive. And we're going to do exactly the same with the email. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, under attributes, we're going to type an email. So that's so that Mordic knows that those fields in the URL belong in this particular form. And then down here, 
below the submit button. That's important. It must be below the submit button. I've inserted an HTML area. And thanks to Steve Robinson uh, for this code. Uh, this is the code that's going to auto submit the Mordic form. So once it's captured the information, it's going to submit itself. Now I've left out the opening tag here just because I don't want this form to auto submit because I want to see it working to make sure everything's 100%. And once I know it's 100%, I'll come back and edit this. So we have built our Mordic form. Save and close. Now that it's built, we need to go and create the thank you page. And we need to insert our Mordic form to do that. So we're going to use JavaScript for that. And we're going to grab hold of that JavaScript. And then we're going to go over and create a thank you page. I've already built one. And um, we're going to insert that Mordic form. Now, the way to do that is just to grab a custom HTML element. Uh, I've already done that. But you just drag that onto the page if you're using Thrive. And then once you're on there, you're just going to drop in the JavaScript code. So that's been done. JavaScript code is there. And then you want a second custom HTML area. And uh, I'll edit that. And you want to paste this code in. Now, I will pop these codes into the description down below. Or more likely, I'm actually going to finish up the blog I've been meaning to do on this topic. And I'll link to that blog where everything will be available for you. And uh, you can grab that there. But thanks to Leo from the forums for this code. Leo. Shout out, really nice code. It's been really useful for me. And what this is going to do is grab the information out of the URL and populate that Mordic form. A very, very critical step. So you want to have that in there. And then you can design your thank you page however you want to design it. So we've got that done. Save work. And let's go and have a look at what that looks like. So this is what it is going to look like without the Mordic form being hidden. So it's showing the code here because we're missing the opening tag. And uh, but once we hide all of this, uh, it's just going to you're just going to see thank you. But we want to see it now so we can see whether it's working. So we have created the thank you page. What's left? We need a test. And once we know it's working, we can come back and hide that code to make it all work properly, ready for production. So let's go ahead and test. Now remember, when you're testing anything with Mordic, you want to be testing in an incognito or private browser tab. You can't be testing in the same browser session that Mordic is open on, because Mordic recognizes that you are the admin and using the same IP and just nothing will work. So I am working in a private browser tab. And let's go to our landing page. Uh, so here it is, leadgenius.biz um, forward slash Mordic. I've been mastery, and if you guys want me to put this course together, please come over and give me your details. It'll motivate me to do exactly that. So let's throw in a contact here. All uh, right, and let's make sure we can spell demo correctly. So what I'm expecting to happen here is when I submit this, it's going to pass the information by a URL, and I should see the thank you page with that Mordic form with this information already populated into it. So let's see if that's going to be the case. Success. All right, we can see the information I put in is right there, and you can also see it's in the URL. So if you're not having joy, if this step's not working for you, the first thing you want to check is, are you seeing the information in the URL? If you're not, go back and configure figure the uh, lead form correctly, and make sure you're passing those variables to the thank you page. If that information is here, but not populating in the form, just make sure you've mapped the Mordic form correctly, and you've actually used the correct names, in this case, TV underscore name, and email, and it is case sensitive, and uh, make sure that's working, and that should solve the problem for you. If it doesn't, make sure that code on the uh, thank you page is um, correct, that you've actually put this in correctly. Uh, if that's all done correctly, it really should work. But there we go, and if I hit click, click submit now, I'm basically submitting a Mordic form, and if I go over into Mordic, and I do a search for demo, I should find a brand new contact called demo. And I didn't actually show you, but in the Mordic form, I, I made an action to tag anyone as, as a Mordic lead and also as a Mordic user. And what's very nice here is you can see all the anonymous browsing data that uh, was happening before I identified myself has been attributed to this contact called demo. 
And so when I come back, when demo comes back and continues browsing on the website, I will see that browsing history attributed to this record as well. And that is the kicker, that is the difference uh, that this uh, process allows you to have happen. All right, so we have tested and it's working. So let's do some final configuration. Let's hide those elements. Let's get the auto submit working. So to do that, I'm gonna go back to forms and I'm gonna click through to my And I'm going to edit there just to show you on actions. This is where I was adding in the tags, but under fields now, I just want to turn on the auto submit function. I'm just simply going to do that by adding in that missing tag and save and close. And because I'm using JavaScript to insert the form, that'll live update on the website as well. All right. And then also we want to hide this information. We don't want the person to see that. So let's come back into that thank you page. And we're just going to do a little CSS trick. By the way, let me know in the comments if there's a better way to do this. Um, this is just how I do it. And um, here's some CSS. Just going to complete the code. Uh, this code will be down below in the blog. Uh, but basically, we just the Mordic form wrapper elements, we're just going to hide that with display none. So that's that done. And uh, save work. So now we have a modic form that is going to auto submit and also it is hidden. So let's test it. Uh, let's go and put in tester, test at tester dots some nonsense. And what I'm expecting to see now is a thank you page without the modic form in it. And we should see tester appear in modic with the browsing history attributed to that. So let's see if this is working. And boom, you can see we have no Mordic form. Uh, we can see the information got passed by the URL, which is great. So the last thing we want to do is go and look for tester in Mordic. So let's do exactly that. And hey presto, that record is there. It has been tagged and we can see all the history that is happening on this record. So that kind of wraps up what we're talking about here. It's a pretty straightforward way of connecting any third party form in WordPress, uh, maybe some other platforms as well. As long as you can pass that data via URL, you can build a Mordic form to receive that data on a thank you page and uh, using that clever piece of code, capture that information and have the form auto submit, hide the form and boom, you've got a integration with Thrive Leads or any other tool that you're able to use that has that functionality. This has been a game changer for me. I find it really, really useful because I do want to know on my person's behavior. I want to fire that cookie so I can track this kind of information within that. Guys, let me know your thoughts and comments in the, down below. I'm not a coder. If there's better ways to do this, if there's a vulnerability in what I've shown you from a security point of view or anything else, I'd be keen to know. But I hope you found that useful. And uh, Watch out on this channel. I hope to load up a lot more information about Mordek. And if you want to go through that course, hit up that little uh, lead box that I've been showing you and uh, let me know that you're keen and I'll be able to put that course together for you. Until next time, cheers.